Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, then I want to introduce some examples of how to like uh, build like 2D and 3D like uh, models and meshes in ANSYS Workbench. So let's, uh, let's, uh, at first I want to give you some like general procedures of how to do it in like uh, Workbench. First, like we have to create or import some geometries from uh, design model. So the design model like uh, it has a very similar like uh, user interface as uh, like solid works. So I think it's very convenient to build like the very complex geometries. And so after we build this, like uh, we transfer them like the geometry into ANSYS machine. So in the ANSYS machine, we need to set like uh, set uh, physics and uh, machine method, and uh, specify like uh, glo either global set uh, mesh settings or like local set, uh, mesh settings. And uh, then we can uh, generate uh, preview and generate the mesh and uh, also like check the mesh qualities. Last step is uh, create like name selections. So we have to specify some like the uh, boundary conditions. Uh, <coughs> so like the uh, fluent and uh, fluent and uh, like CFX will like recognize these boundary conditions automatically by some keywords. Like if you specify the inlet or like the uh, outflows, so fluent can may recognize it automatically. So for the ANSYS machine, like so, it's a like a new so it's a new software, but it's very like powerful. So it provides like uh, several kind of methods. So it has like automatic auto automatic method. So and, uh, automatic method. So it it provides like it is it, uh, it kind of matches the geometry in maybe uh, like a either a patch conforming or sweeping me sweeping method. So. The three method like automatically can in uh, ANSYS machine to de uh, detect like the three po uh, bodies automatically. So if you right click the geometry and it, you will see that like sh there's a, like uh, this kind of command like show like uh, show show three three four bodies, and uh, it has like other other kind of like methods. So you can, uh, it's called back, uh, patch conforming. So it's kind of for me is like the bottom up uh, ap approach. I think uh, Gambit use this kind of approach. So it's first the mesh starts from edge, face, and then body, and it, it also has like that the called patch independent method. So like uh, I I think ANSYS ISIM provide like this kind of method. So in this method is they use like uh, it use top down approach. So the, you create a volume mesh first and then the um, the volume mesh is projected to faces and the and the edge is to create a surface and the edge uh, meshes. So this kind of approach is very powerful for the dirty meshes. So uh, first, I want to show you some examples of how to create like the two D like uh, like two D like meshes in a workbench. So uh, let's start from like uh, this where a simple Example like the flow past uh, like uh, a cylinder, so it's a uh, two it's uh, like two dimensional uh, geometry. Let's see. <coughs> oh, sorry. So we first we drag the this icon fluid flow fluent into the like the. To this part projects uh, to uh, this project part, and then we right click the geometry. So so we need first um, to give like the dimensions to sele uh, select length unit. So maybe here I choose like uh, maybe just a millimeter. Oh, I forgot it, because it's the two D, the two D geometry. So we need to change the properties in the here. Why we not see the? We need to see the change the properties uh, in the uh, in the design model. So here, if you right click the design model, so there's a there's here there's a panel here says an an analyst type. So we should choose two D here. 
So you go back to the design model, then we should uh, look at it. So then it will give us like the projection of the like XY plane. XY plan. So we want to first. Oh, why? Is Create first a rectangular in the XY plane. So, so here, so then we can uh, need, so the next step is specify the dimensions. So let's say if our uh, the the length of the rectangular is like maybe let's see like uh, we give it like a 50, 50 micrometer fifty millimeters, and then the and the depth of this uh, uh, rectangular is maybe we give it like a uh, maybe give it, give it five yes, as like a five millimeters. So the next step we have to here now what we build is called a sketch. So it's not uh, like a body. So if we in directly import this into ANSI mesh, it will not recognize it as a, like a, as a body. So we need to create like a kind of surface or a surface body for, for this part. So what we do is we uh, create the concept. And so it's like the surface from sketches. So that means we, uh, we, build, a we build a sketch for it. So, uh, so here on the base object, we click uh, sketch one. So when you select it, it like the edges of this object of uh, like this sketch becomes yellow, so we right cl uh, cl click. So then we click generate. So when the when this body is uh, is built, it you can see that like uh, it's filled with uh, gray, filled with gray, gray color. It's not center, does it matter the origin? Uh, it doesn't matter. For here, it's very simple geometry, so I just built it like a kind of. We're like a uh, random place, but if you want to build a uh, very complex geometry, you need to get uh, some. You have to maybe give some point as uh, like the reference point. So here it's very simple. So I just did it. Uh, so the next step is we want to create like a kind of circle in the center. So for this step, we need to um, first we need to like uh, create a new a new sketch in the, in this x y plane. So what we do is. We create. Where is the new sketch? Yeah, here. In icon. We create a new sketch icon. So here you see like that sketch two, and then we click a sketch in here. So we see we we create a circle. Then we let's uh, specify the dimensions. Horizontal. So let we, let's put it in the center. Uh, for here, give it 25. Vertical. The vertical give it uh, 2.5. And the, let's give the diameter of this. <coughs> Diameter of this gives it one 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 micron one micrometer. So the next step is we create uh, we create like the, this circular uh, the, the circular body. So it's the same the same thing uh, uh, sketch like uh, procedure. So it's created like a surface from sketches, and then for here the like the base project we select uh, the sketch two, and then. So here, let's say first, at frozen here. So, so here you see we create like two. We create uh, another like the circular, so uh, circular body. So here, because I chose a state as a, like the frozen, I give it as frozen state. You see, it's kind of like transparent. 
you know, the next step is we try to sub, uh, subtract like this circular from uh, uh, so circular from the rectangular uh, rectangular body. So what we do is we uh, create we choose a create and then choose the uh, like the boolean operation for the boolean for the operation we said like uh, is a subtract. So the target body we choose like the this rec rectangular. So the tool body we choose like the circular. But you see here we cannot we cannot choose it because now it's kind of like the it's kind of patched the this circular body is patched inside. So what we do is we have to hide this uh, rectangular body first. We choose hide body, and then we can choose it. We, we can select it. So here choose it and ge ge generate. So so after we do that, if we uh, Click the surface body here. You can see that now the, s the center, like uh, circle, has been subtracted from the rectangular body. So I think for here, what we have, uh, what should we should do in the uh, in the design model is 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 done. So we need to uh, mesh it in the and the next step is to mesh it. So let's save the project. Maybe. Can I, come on, can I just uh, first put it in your uh, desktop? Yeah. So, so the, for the next step, we uh, mesh it by entering the mesh. So we right click the mesh and then choose edit. So the design model will, will import the, geom the geometry into the ANSYS machine. So we do, you can see that it's imported. So, so here I want to show you just uh, a simple how to use a global use a global mesh. So So if we choose here for the use uh, advanced size function, so the advanced size size function have provide like uh, several options. So the if, if you choose uh, like the solver as a fluent, so like the estimation will use like the uh, kind of default on on curvature on curvature method. So that means it will like kind of kind of put more uh, mesh element on the on the curved geometry. So if you want to know the details, you can you can go to. I, I think I show you. I put it from here. The details curvature. Yeah, it's here. So so the you know the curvature. So that means. So the 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 the, the, the building like curvature function exams like. Like these curvatures on the edges and the faces, so and the compute the element size uh, on these identities, so that like the uh, these the size will not violate the like maximum size on the curvature normal angle. So it's kind of like very complicated. <laughs> complicated. I don't really understand it very well. So it has like some defined properties as like the curvature normal angle and the like the minimum size, maximum uh, face size, the maximum size of gro and the growth rate. So let's for here. Let's just. You don't go outside of your goal. Because the meshing technique is fairly complicated if you think about it. When you have a complex geometry, and it, it has to kind of, uh, I mean, there are many, several different techniques. The paving technique will just kind of march forward, trying to fit as many elements in the yeah. thing. So as you are marching forward, you need to know that you are not crossing the boundaries. 
of the, the edge. Right? So the curvature will determine that. So they're using the curvature as a guide to determine what the maximum size of cells should be. Okay. We, we will probably see it in the as we go through it. OK, go on. Yeah, let's see. So, so let's just uh, leave it as default first. We just generate a mesh to see what what it lo looks like. So we click uh, the generate. So here you can see that like the. Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Where is because it also goes out of the, yeah. it loses the signal for some reason. It goes in blank signal. I'm just wondering whether it's going to record. Okay. Oh. Oh. So. Is it recording yet? Yes, I think it's still recording. Okay. Yeah, let's see. For well, here, uh, you can see that uh, the first, like, <coughs> the ANSYS, like, machine generates a mesh, like, based on the default values. You can see that it gives, like, the kind of, uh, like, uh, tetrahedral meshes, give tetrahedral mesh, and they detect, like, the, here in the center, they give the more mesh element. But here the mesh is well, still very coarse, and uh, if I want to give, like, the rectangular, rectangular mesh, so what should I do? So let's first, uh, let's first clear the, like clear the like generate the mesh and then insert the method. So geometry, let's say here one this body. So so in the method, so we can we can choose like a <coughs> uh, quad, sorry quadrilateral um, like element or triangular triangular element. Let's try the tri uh, triangulars. So in the mesh, so so on the like. Uh, On the so here like the this curvature like this curvature normal angle like the uh, kind of control like the the angle that angle span on the on the curve on on, on, the, on the curve so the default value is is eighteen so like, maybe let's see if to explore this function let's give it maybe give it a half give it a nine give it as nine nine degree so the minimum size let's give it a default like the maximum size. Let's give it a, uh, give it as one one half of the original one. Let's give it one one point two five. Let's uh, the growth rate. Let's just leave it as default. Let's see what it does look like now. So let's create the generate mesh. Oh, error. So <coughs> the, oh, did I input anything wrong? Oh, sorry. On e minus should be inner minus three. Oh, here you can see that like uh, here only give nine nine degrees on the as a like uh, curvature normal angle. You can see that it gives like the more more elements on the uh, along the on, along the curve. So if I now if I change it back to eighteen degree, let's see what does that, what does it happens. You can see that like this kind of like. Uh, this curvature, like uh, curvature, uh, curvature no normal angles, like controls, like uh, it kind of controls the like uh, number of elements on the on the curves. So if I want to study like the boundary layer uh, problems on this uh, on these two like uh, side walls, so what I I need to give some like more meshes uh, on on these walls, so. What I can, what can I, what I can do is I can add some inflations, inflation on these two edges. So, so if I ch click, uh, if I right, right click this edge and then insert, so I can insert. Why, why there's no inf in, why there's no inf inflation? So let's see it here. Oh. Inflation, yeah, inf inflate this method. So add inflation. So 
for here the the boundaries so let's choose like these both boundaries edges so here so so it, the inflation options so it has like uh, several options so one is the total uh, thickness the other is the first layer first layer thickness the third one is a smooth transition so let's give like the total let's just first let leave it default so give the number of layers give maybe give three numbers of layers so maximum thickness so maximum thickness uh let's see the width of this one is uh is five millimeters so let's give it as 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 <coughs> 0 0.5 millimeters let's see what happens let's update let's update the yeah, you see here, it gives like some, uh, some boundary, some like inflation layers on these two walls. So, so uh, let's. Go. Yeah, do you have any questions here now? Here now. Uh, yeah. Um, so here, the inflation. I understand it is a boundary layer. Yeah, so like what we, so when we started like the flow past like a uh, past uh, p like the uh, surface, so it creates some like boundary layers. So in the boundary layers, because uh, it has a high gra gradient, so we need more mesh elements. So I think what here it do, it do, so what does it do is here so it creates like uh, several layers, very thin several thin layers. So we can specify like the number of layers. So that means a lump, uh, number of elements on this. Uh, number of elements on this uh, inside these layers, so we don't need to do it uh, for if it is like very quick, very co um, complicated geometry. We don't need to like uh, kind of uh, do it by ourselves. So do it as a, in the local mesh. I can show you how to do it in the local mesh by local mesh method. Element quality. So you want to check the element quality. So so here you you in the it's in the mesh under the under the mesh. So you go goes to like the very bottom and you see the statics. So but you expand the statics. So here the elements show you like the, this one thousand element. So element of mesh. If you want to see the like the details of the of the uh, like the quality, so you have some options like the <coughs> element quality, aspect ratio, Jacobian ratio, these these kind of things. I think in flu fluent, I think the most important is orthogonal quality. So if you choose that, you can see that like the show you like the minimum and the maximum values and the average values. So here. I don't show. It doesn't not show here. So now you have some like uh, colon uh, colon graphs to show you like the qualities. I don't know why it doesn't show. It doesn't have show here. It's maybe some display display. I don't know. Is is any display like a uh, error or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to try to display like a uh, like uh, kind of uh, like quality graph of the. Of the elements, so yeah, you can do it again. Yes, Select another one or something. Yeah, yes, okay. One, uh, element in the corner. Check out. Let's say you want to see the element quality. Okay. No, because it will direct. It should show it. Yeah. Let's see. Do it. 
Maybe I think it's some display. Some display. Some display thing about you. Like a bar. Mm. This. This is part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. So, <coughs> so this part it will show you like uh, the qualities like the because here we have like two kinds of elements. One is like triangular. The other is uh, the like in the inside uh, on the boundaries is uh, quadrilateral me meshes. So, for here, so show you like uh, the, where are the, like the good or bad mesh elements. So if you want to like increase uh, the mesh quality, so we can change like the these uh, default va default values uh, a little a little play with the default values a little bit, so to to change the mesh quality. So the uh, collateral uh, meshes are not that fine; it's they are very low quality. Yeah, because you see here, like the because it's a kind of like the. It's a kind of on the boundary layer. You can see that like this, this edge, the length of this edge is much larger than this edge. So when you do some calculation, they give the, they show you like the the mesh at the mesh is quality is bad. But I think in fluent it won't have any won't uh, give a large problem because uh, for the boundary flows for the flows for here like the velocity gradient on this uh, on this side is much smaller than this side. So I think this kind of mesh quality is accept acceptable. Yes. Is there a threshold of uh, New York, which we should not accept element quality before? Threshold values, I... Yeah, because sometimes in, in console, the, even if the mesh quality is very poor, it still it solves and gives you the right solution. Yeah. And so is what is this mesh quality exactly means this indicator. In, and sometimes with very fine mesh you do not get the right answer. So I don't know if there I don't know if there are <coughs> any like threshold numbers. I I think uh, maybe I, I read some literature they say like the for the aspect aspect ratio you should not exceed uh, exceed like uh, ten or maybe something. So this is what I know for the one threshold but I don't know if I think maybe we should influence maybe the as uh, the critical like value is the as is this one uh, orthogonal quality orthogonal quality, I don't know what's the threshold for this for this value but I think if it's as long as the the minimum value is uh, larger than zero point five it should be accept acceptable I think. So, so that the uh, uh, element quality if uh, it's below point oh five it gives you some warning. <laughs> It is in, in this? Yes. Below 0.05. Yeah, 0.05. Yeah. Give you some warning. So, say if it is 0.2, then I can trust my results? Yeah, I think so. What exactly is the other value of quality? How, if you take a tetrahedral element, uh, something like uh, this, then what I exactly? Is how they calculate this, how they define and calculate this. Some this book. Maybe somewhere on this book. Yes, let's we can find it later. So let's do the final step is to like to create name selections. <coughs> so let's see names. So how to let's see name selection. So if you want to to name selection, so we right click the boundaries, like the boundaries. So you can see like uh, choose here, cre create name selections. Or well, here we just say like inlet. Or well, here let's say create name selections. Just say outlet, outlet. And uh, 
the, the rest uh, we can leave it as, def as default. The default uh, name selection for the is uh, is wall. So let's see. Okay, let's go back to so for here update it. So let's say here. I click edit. So. So it, like the ANSYS meshing will import like the the mesh and the name selections automatically into the into Fluent. So he, here we have import, we have imported the the mesh into the element. So we choose like the display. So you can see that. So you can see. So it's recognized in that outlet. The wall, the and the interior, interior surface body. So, so the following is just to how to like define those those parameters and then solve it in Fluent. So, for this, so this example is done. So, any questions now? This naming is not necessarily associated with the keyword inside. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. The naming that you gave in that outlet. Yeah. It could be any name. It, uh, it could be any You're name. Going to associate it with the boundary condition type. Yeah, it? yeah. So if you want to change the name, so you can yeah. do it in Fluent. You do it inside Fluent. So this uh, this example shows how to uh, use a kind of like global control. So in Gambit, so we what do is uh, use a uh, like the local control. So we specify the number of element number of elements on each side. So now the next step, uh, so the next example is how to do it. Uh, I will show you how to do it, like to create a 2D elbows. Let's say, save this project first. <coughs> so the next step, I'll show you how to cr create like the, this kind of very simple 2D elbows. So. So the, the first step is to do it in the uh, design model. So in the design model, I will show you like how to trim the edge, how to uh, how to create some auxiliary auxiliary lines. So you, I want to create some auxiliary lines on like this side and this side and uh, this this side. So to make the like the machine map the mesh uh, easier easier. So let's see how. To I face the same. I face the same problems. Okay, so let's give it new here. So fluent. So geometry. Choose millimeter. So it's it's two D. So let's ch change the property here, and then this time add to two D. So let's look at. It. So the first step, like uh, create two two ar two arches. Where is the arch? Yeah, arch by three points to create two arches. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I changed arch by center. Choose the arch by center. So let's put the center as origin. So one arch, the other. So because I'm not sure where, whether these two are like uh, co concentric, so. We, what we can do is like the, in the constraint constraint so so there's a like a kind of like a <coughs> function that is called concentric so let's click these two so like the design model will make these two uh, arches like concentric automatically so the next step is let me define the dimensions of these two arches 
for the radius of this one, one I give it like the maybe gives uh, let's say four. The other is eight. So like the arches part is done, so the, then the, the next part, next step, I want to uh, create like an inlet, like the kind of like the inlet channel and outlet channel for in, in here. So let me draw two like uh, rectangulars. So what I usually do is like, because I don't know whether like uh, this point where connected to the, uh, like, let's see, if I create like the, a rectangular here, so I'm not sure where the point is where it's cl uh, connected to this point. So what I do is first I just uh, do it like uh, give it anywhere, any place like like here. So and then I choose I use the con co like uh, coincide coincide like the this this uh, function. So I click this this <coughs> sorry. Uh, coinc coinc coincident function. So I click one this point and then to this point. So to automatically connect these two, sorry, connect these two point, put these two points together. So the same thing for here, for here. So, so when you do that, you press control or something? Or no, no, just directly. Just, click on, just click on the two yeah. points. Two points. So the next step is to I define I, like the def, uh, define the dimensions of this uh, rectangular. So if we write, you can see that if I define like the the width of this uh, rectangular, it says show some warnings. The the, the new dimension makes the model over constrained. So that's because we have already defined we have already defined like the radius of these two arches. So the length actually has already been defined. So if I define this, uh, the width of this rectangular again, so it's making it overdefined. So the system will show you some error messages. So, so let's we can just uh, just delete this one. Uh, click, choose this one and click the de de delete. So, so what we what we need to define is just like the the length of this this outlet channel. So. So let's give it, maybe give it as like uh, eight. Uh, give, give it as eight. So I want, now I want to delete like this edge. So what I can do is go to the modify and then choose the trim. So I click trim. So, oh, why this one it disappeared? Okay, maybe uh, well, the dimension icon disappeared because what I do, what I did is uh, define the dimension between this edge and uh, this edge. Now this edge has been deleted. So I what I should do is I de maybe define again. Vertical. I define the I define the length between this edge and this like x uh, x axis. So it, sh it should not change. So okay, this outlet part, this outlet <coughs> channel has been created. So. Let me create it like the inlet cha inlet channel rectangular. So, you see here, I I want to put these two thing, two point together, but you can see if I zoom in to the where is the zoom in part? Zoom in part. So you see still like there's some gap <coughs> in it. So it's not very easy to to try to <laughs> do it by hand, so let me put it, choose, use a constraint, coincident, coin, coincide, so click this point and this point, so it's connected, so same thing, sorry, click this point and this point. Hmm? Okay, so the same thing, like delete this, this edge, so and uh, define the dimension of 
this, the length of this channel six as kind of eight. Okay, so this, for this, like the channel has been created. So let me def uh, create like a a side ch a side channel. So what I can do is create. Let me create. Uh, A pipe here, uh, like a rectangular here. So let me define. Then the, let me define the. <coughs> some define the dimensions of this one. So I want to have. So now we have created this pipe. So that if we want to like uh, form a uh, form a surface for this geometry, so we need to delete like these unnecessary edges, like this one, this one, and this one. So if you want to <coughs> create it, just create it now because it has some inside kind of like interior uh, boundaries. So the design model will not allow you to create it, create like the surface from like this, this kind of shape. It's different from console. So <laughs> all right. So what I do is I want to like, trim like these edges. So to facilitate. Use the boolean operator. To the no, boolean operator is only allowed for the bodies. See, now it's only, it's only sketches. It's not allowed. So if you want to create, now you want to use a, you see like the boolean operation is kind of like the suppressed. But if you create two bodies. Ah uh, yeah, if you create create two bodies. <coughs> that, boolean. Yeah, that can that can be that so that can be done. So you can do them in two sketches, right? Yeah, we can do it in two okay. sketches and uh, form two bodies and then like uh, uh, unite them. Or or what? If you want to not, we can also do it this way. So we trim these edges and then form a form a form a body. So. Uh, sorry, I have another question. Yeah. So uh, how do you know that uh, all the geometry is constrained? So, what is is the uh, dimensions given enough? You know, for all the uh, dimensions. Uh, if some part uh, they are not constrained, so can you check? Yeah, I think you like they. You <coughs> First, you get some geometry. They have they show you some like the crit critical dimensions. So <coughs> you can check. Or if you're not sure, so maybe uh, you want to define another like the dimensions. You can do it. Try to try to see if it's over defined. I don't know if there any like uh, kind of examine like building examine yeah. Uh, yeah, it's function uh, inside. It is more complicated. So it, maybe you you know forget to de define something. So if there's a something you can check if all has been def yeah. Whenever you draw in something, it will default value will be stored there. Yeah. If you want to change the default value, you need to change. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise there is no check. Okay, okay. So now like I want to now the next <coughs> step is let me uh, create two like uh, like a collection point on these two edges. So what, what I can do is like uh, go to the jaw here. So here we have like we can choose a cons construction point at the intersection. So we c uh, click it and then for here we let me right click. Yeah, so we don't, as this, maybe in version 13 and volume 14 is a little different. For here, okay, as intersection, we just directly choose like these two edges. You know, you see, the build a point here. Let's here the same thing, the same thing do here. So we create like two points. 
And then next step, let me train like this unnecessary edges. Like this one, this one, this one, the, this one. So after we train this one, so it's kind of closed uh, sketch. So what we can create, uh, we can create like the surface. So if you, when you uh, do it, if you ha have some, like, uh, let's say you have some gaps, or like these two points are not constrained, so it, you, know, you, you will find that you cannot make the, you cannot make the sketch, like the make, make the body from the sketch. So you have to make, you have to make sure the bo like this, like the geom kind of geometry or sketch is closed. It's a closed, it's a closed one. So, okay, I have worked now. If I want to make the map mesh, so, I would like to create some like uh, like auxiliary lines like on here, here, and here, too. So I can se uh, separate like separate like this whole body into several parts. So, yeah. Now, say once I have generated the surface, later if I want to change any of these dimensions, mm -hmm. so I have to repeat this whole process, or it can be no, no. I think it just go to the sketch. Go okay. to the sketch. Like uh, let me see. This is the sketch. lower triangle if I just want to make it. Just, just you mean? Change those things. Okay, so just change, change the H7. Yeah. Let's give me maybe 1.2. 1.2, then generate. Thanks. So, so mm -hmm. I cannot create just a, a just a line body is here because when I, let's try just try to see what kind of error it will give. Let's see if I want to uh, now I want to create some lines here. Let's say make let me make a new sketch. Let's a new. Let's make a new. So in the sketch two, let's make these uh, lines. So I want to have like this line. This line and uh, sorry, this one should be curves. Okay, in the sketch two, I make uh, these uh, like these lines and see because. These are in a sketch. If I let's, let's try to see if it in a and this machine to recognize it. Let's see. <coughs> if I import, it, if I open the and this machine, you see, like the these uh, these uh, line sketches are not imported in, in it, inside inside it. So. If we originally had those lines as interior boundaries, then you cannot make the sketch. Oh, sorry, you cannot make the surface. you cannot make the surface. So is, is there any way to create surface with interior boundaries? Yeah, this is what yeah. I will show you. Oh. <laughs> no problem. So now, so <coughs> let's see if then if I make it as a let's make some uh, line bodies. So now it's a sketch. So let's make a line body. So let's uh, line from s choose a line from sketches. Yes, these lines are created in sketch two. Let's choose this sketch. And uh, here, let's say add frozen. So you can see here now we have created the, this created these lines. So if let's, let me see if uh, let's try if uh, this. Try if ANSYS machine can rec recognize these lines. You see some. If you update the jump, you see give some error messages, plugging error, no valid bodies found in 2D an analysis part. So the error, well, the error is due to here. We make the we make the line bodies. It's kind of like so. So like uh, when <coughs> import, import it into the ANSYS machine, it's kind of, it's kind of, these two have some like. Kind of like 
uh, how to say that? So it cannot recognize the recognize both. So it can only allow either like a surface body or or a two, like a line body. So it cannot you cannot put both them both of them into the machine. So what I can do here is to to kind of just project these lines on these surfaces to make a projection. <coughs> so what? What I what I can do is to like a uh, concept, uh, sorry, like the tools with a projection. In the projections, you will see here. You have you choose, you choose uh, edges. Let me choose like this edge. I press Control. You can choose multiple things from so these three edges. The target. Let's choose this this body. And then generate. Let's suppress these three bodies. Suppress bodies. And then now let's see if I can. This time, if uh, NC machine can recognize. Okay, let me reset because. Yeah, because that, as previous step, we create, we give some uh, error messages to NCS ma to NCS machine. So we need to delete these original fi those files. So what we do is to right click at the choose reset. Now for this part, let's see, do it again, edit. See here now, we we have cre we have created like these auxiliary lines, but still it's a it's a whole body, but these are just projections. So the most important thing is one is to this one you create it as a projection. The the other thing you have to suppress these bodies. Do not import these line bodies into NCS machine. This is these are two the critical steps. Now so I have this one now. Let me make the map create some mapped mesh first. I right click and inside the mapped machine. So the geometry, let's say, let's create first this is geometry, one face. So so we can so let's give it just a quadrilater, quadrilateral mesh <coughs> meshes. So I want to specify the number of number of elements on this edge and this edge. So what I can do is to right click insert Sizing. So now top the line like these line selections, the icon, and then <coughs> give like uh, choose these two, jump and then click uh, apply. So the now geometry we choose two edges. The answer the will recognize like this is a uh, edge. So now the name change to uh, edge sizing. So here the type. You can either specify the element size or number of the divisions. For the, this function, sphere of influence is uh, most most times used in like a, a sphere, spherical like uh, shapes, like the sphere, like spheres or <coughs> like the like other kind of like a, a pro, uh, like uh, circumstitions. Circumstici the so number of divisions. Now let me give let me give twenty. So here, now in a behavior we have so soft or hard. So the s like uh, these two are kind of like uh, uh, confusing. So the hard function is easy to understand. So hard function, so it, the edge where like the n this specified like num kind of here for number of twenty division. If I choose hard, so it will kind of equally divided this uh, the, uh, like this uh, nodes. The mesh nodes, but if I choose choose soft, so the system will calculate like these element sizes, and uh, also like the uh, some, and also compute the global like settings, and then and then it will uh, uh, divide like these mesh nodes. So it's 
I can show you. I can show. Let me. I can show you. I can show you the example now. So let me specify another sizing. So choose these two. So set for sam I give like the number of division as ten. <coughs> for here, let me just uh, leave as a behavior as stop. Let's see what happens. Smash. So let's generate. Now for this part, you see it's mapped mesh. So it seems like uh, hard, the soft and the hard does not make any big difference. Let me see, let me see what, what should I change? I think, let me change this one to soft, see if, any, if anything happens. So because this is kind of like, rec uh, there's no curves or some, something here. So soft and hard, hard does not, make uh, make uh, any big difference. Let's just see if in the following part, like this part, you have anything, have, uh, have anything like, uh, it will give anything different here. Let's see, we have already matched this part. Let's match uh, the, le the, rest, the rest part. So let's create another map to mesh for choose this geometry. And the same thing, we, and the same, well, the same thing we give like, uh, Here, so I think we give it ten here. So we have used to give the map mesh for these two, for these two part. Now let's let me uh, map give map mesh for this like a uh, small pipe. So what I can do is insert. Max mesh, surf surface mesh, choose this surface. And this, let me skip. These two edges, that's So for this, for this uh, small pipe, if I want to uh, resolve, like resolve the boundary layers, so what I can do is, uh, I should give like the more mesh elements uh, close to these side walls. So what I can, what sh I should do is to give some bias type, give bias. <coughs> so you can. Let me get Any? Yeah. yeah, oh, I found it. I found it. I want to choose this one. So it's like a symmetric kind of uh, sy symmetric bias. So here we need to give the bias factor. Bias factor, the bias the factor is defined as a so here we have the largest, uh, the, as a large ratio of the largest element size to the smallest re uh, element size. So let me <coughs> give it three here. So for here, for these two edges, let me give it as give 20, ele 20 element size. So let's see what happens for this uh, now. Uh, yeah, it shows as 3D, but it's 2D. It just get one, one cell. Just get one cell. You see, like uh, now we uh, we created like this uh, kind of like the boundary layers here. So the the last part is to create to use map mesh for this for uh, for this. This uh, this surface, 
as you see it keeps a map surface so here it uh, giving sizing so <coughs> so here we give it give 20 give uh, 20 elements on these two uh, two to these two and uh, so insert for this one for this edge I give I should give like 20 20 and 10 it should be 50 50 number of elements number of divisions so because uh, the, the here, like in the center, there are more kind of like more elements. So we, I should give a bias as a more <coughs> like uh, the more like more dense elements uh, nodes on the center. So the bias type should give uh, like this this one this one bias type gives maybe gives three. Let's see what what happens. So you can, you can see like at, at first we can we when we create it we give the uniform oh sorry we give the uh when we first created this surface it shows a uniform mesh but now you can see that like you see like the elements are more kind of uh, flowing towards that way that's because we leave it as like soft the soft because now it's close to the curve so it, it uh, the system gives more kind of like more elements close to this side so I should change. If I still want to give the uniform, give, uh, give the uni like uniform mesh on these two surfaces, I should change the behavior to like to hard. And I change these two. I change the behavior of these four edges to hard. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's give it twenty. Let's give it ten. Update. Now, it, now it sees. It sees Now we see it's kind of become it becomes a little like uh, more uniform on these two sides. So if you want to change the, like the if you want to change the number like kind of like the mesh quality on this on this side, so we need to play with uh, like the bias the bias type. But now I think this kind of mesh is accept is acceptable. So I want to I'm not going to spend more time on this on this. Uh, I'm not going to spend more time on this uh, example. Let's just show you how. Let's show you like the, the aspect, show some quality of this mesh, the aspect ratio. You can see. So, so the poorest, the poorest uh, uh, elements are in the near this, are near these walls. So, yeah, I want to see the like the orthogonal ratio, orthogonal quality. So the orthogonal quality is acceptable. So the minimum is 0 0.76. I think that's OK for this. But if you want to have more like a better, have better mesh, you need to play with the, like the number of elements on these small pipes and also the bias on this side. 
So in in uh, uh, ANSYS ISIM, so it should it has the same same example, but they, they use like the uh, the blocks. They use the blo you have to specify blocks. So it's, for this one, we need, we don't need to use a block scheme. So it's more I think easier to do it in in ANSYS machine. So the following step is uh, define the create the name selections. So I'm not going to do that. So any questions here this part? So so yeah. Uh, now, like, they have like two. Now, the ANSYS supports two like machine software. One is uh, like the ANSYS machine. The other is uh, ISIM. But uh, I heard like there's I heard some news that they are not going to uh, develop further develop ANSYS uh, ISIM anymore. They are, uh, they are only going to develop this software. So, so, so that depends on what you like. So I think I, I think it's more it's very complicated to me. But this, this one is easier. This one is yeah. The fluid zones. Uh, if you then you have to uh, name a different part. You create different different part. So yeah. Yes. So if you want to define fluid zones, maybe like here, you create this body first, and then form one part for here, and then create this body here, and form another part. Because here, it's simple geometry. It's all of them are fluid. So I just, I didn't form the part, but I can show you in the next. Uh, so what is the projection doing here? The projection doing is to create, create kind of like projection lines on these bodies, but does not form a, a real line, line body. So if you do not do it as a projection, you will see that like the NC machine will give some like errors. So it cannot recognize the it recognize the like spot the analyzed body. So it's like creating a variable yeah. just for machine code. Okay, yeah. okay. So what about um, for three D can you do something like this? Three D you don't need to do that. Three D you can do just do the slicing. For here two D we don't have the in 2D, we don't have the. Uh, do we have slice? Slicing, but slicing, do we have the. Yeah, you can slice. Yeah, you can slice by So then the separate body will create, right? Yes. If you slice that, I think so. You don't need line projection. Let's see, let, no, let me try. I, didn't, I haven't tried. Yeah, yeah. Let's see select if I'm going to. Edge. Let's see, select, select by, uh, by, by edge. Maybe not this one. Size. Size by plane. Sure. No, you cannot do it slide by stop and edge. <coughs> but so this is easy then, that thing, right? The projection is easy than creating a separate mm -hmm. slices. Yeah, yeah. 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 doing this, you create a se separate, uh, you know, parts, mm -hmm. different parts. So let me just choose. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. See now it's X Y. Like, let me choose Y Z plan. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Choose yeah. Y Z plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two body. yeah. Okay. Then we can also do it, I think. Yeah. But then you know, sometimes, you know, if they the fluent treat this as internal as a you know solid wall, something like that. So you have to form a new form part. Form this yeah, all these two parts. into one part. Yeah, parts. But I think now they just a pro how about like this curved this curved shape? Mm -hmm. So we cannot how to slice this curve this this curve. That is a problem. <laughs> so you have slice by surface. Slice by so we need to create another surface for this, right? <laughs> so I think for two D, I think projection is yeah 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 is, yes, is yes. this easier? Yes. Yeah. So when when you are studying oh. the physics in this oh, kind of problem with the internal boundary, so you need to specify boundary condition or it will be automatically continuity condition on the internal. No. 
for here, we do not we do not specify the boundary clean. We just create name selection. Just yes, create the no, name. No, I, I'm asking like you create it by slicing an internal boundary. Cut the same what oh, you yeah. do. Yeah, now, so now when you are setting physics, do you need to specify any boundary no, condition? No, 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 no. no. It's already automatically. Yeah, it will, it will recognize as an interior. <coughs> yeah, I will show you an another example. Okay. Show you another example. So, let's see. Let's save it. Let's save it. Is any body or leg having two side meshes? This side and this side, that is where default taking as it is. Yeah. But can you can you manipulate boundary condition on that? Because usually yeah, infinity is imposed. Yeah, if you want to import that as a separate name selection, uh -huh. so include it, you can change that. Uh -huh. If you want, that means internal walls will be there sometimes, right? Including so that you can do. Okay, for <coughs> This part for this example, I'm, I'm going to create like a 3D like a 3D like this kind of sh uh, snake reactors. So for this example, I will show you like how to create a slide, how to create slicing. So we we create uh, the entire entire body, but I, I by using slicing, so I I uh, separate them into s different parts. 